this one's a combination of the rectifier circuit that we looked at, and it's also the uh, clamper circuit that we looked at. This part of the circuit being the clamper, and this being a rectifier, which will charge this cap to 2V peak. And the cap acts as a filter. So anyhow, let's see if we can figure out how this happens. When this end is positive, this end is negative. We have current flow this way. We have cap charging, this being positive, this being negative. Um, let's see, when this is positive and this is negative, on the next cycle, we have this being raised to 2V peak over this. We end up with 2V peak right here. And that 2V peak charges this cap. 2V peak, that's where this comes from here, and that cap charges, well, the 2V peak, and it discharges through RL, which gives us some ripple here, and when this goes back to the condition that's in black here, that one, and this one, when this is positive, that's negative, we have the source here minus this source here, which gives us zero. So this goes back to here. And we're up here, which is doing this charging here. And then we're back down here. And the cap is not charged, but the cap is supplying current for RL at that point in time. This increases in voltage again. Positive here and negative here, and this cap still being charged has a positive for this one and a positive for that cap to go through D2 to charge. And also to discharge through RL. Um, very simple circuit. Usually these are not high current or power. Uh, they can be very high voltage. Could be a charging circuit like is in a, uh, a camera you hear that thing winding up well the more stages you put on this uh, we're going to look at a voltage doubler next the more stages you put on 